Coach, what was your initial reaction when you found out about the bowl assignment and the bowl opponent? Um, I said, lucky us, we get to prepare for uh, the option. <laughs> so, uh, no, I, uh, my first reaction was, is, uh, uh, you know, great opponent, great challenge, and uh, they're going to give us a lot of, uh, they're going to give us uh, a lot of different looks and a lot of things to uh, prepare for offensively because they're very different from what we've seen. Is there any benefit from having some extra time to prepare for that? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, this you know, it, it's football, and it's uh, it's football concepts, and it is different than what we've seen so far. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll just uh, we're just going to do what we do and figure out um, an answer to what they do, and, um, and and come up with a great plan and, and be ready to go. Why should? Oh, I'm sorry. That's no, right. Why should fans be excited for an opponent like Georgia Southern? Because maybe on the surface it doesn't sound necessarily the best. Um. Well, I mean, I, I think they should be excited because they're going to bring a um, uh, a different type of uh, you know football profile than what we've seen um, you know in the MAC and, and what we've played non-conference wise. They uh, um, you know top to bottom they're going to you know they're going to look different you know than us in terms of the type of players that you know that they recruit you know for their systems on offense and defense and, and uh, you know they like, they play a different style of football on offense than we've seen. So it, it, it could be an explosive football game. How much say did you guys have in, in this bowl game? I know they had the, the first pick, and with you guys being a match champs, how did it all kind of come about? You know, I'm not I'm not really privy to that information. Uh, our athletic director's probably better better guy to answer that question. When when you were meeting the players here to talk about, it, in your eyes, what was their reaction to the announcement? You know, they're excited. They're they're a team that enjoys challenges, and and they're a team that that. Uh, they really wants to know how good they are, and every week, you know, we approached every opponent that way. We, uh, we we try to push the ceiling on on what our performance, you know, can be on offense and defense, and and, and how well we can play. And uh, you know, each week, you know, in one area this this year, we were able to uh, uh, to improve, if not, you know, many areas. So you know, this is another uh, opportunity to prove ourselves against a, a, a dynamic and uh, successful program. Because this isn't a type of offense that your defense is used to. In the scout team, have you had enough time to kind of map out who might play a certain role of, of what you might be looking at from that bowl game? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, that's something we're going to have to sit down and really, uh, you know, vet our personnel and, and, and find out who can give us uh, uh, the most uh, realistic look to what they do offensively. But I, I know we have good athletes in this program and, and guys that are going to uh, give us a look and be able to prepare us for them. When will you guys dive into the program? Uh, we'll, we'll get started next uh, next Sunday. For you, uh, obviously the interim head coach for this game, uh, is the approach any any different for you as opposed to what in your role before? Uh, you know, for me, I mean, that's uh, that's something I'm really I'm gonna have to sit down, you know, look at our processes, uh, look at my responsibilities, um, you know, as a head football coach, uh, you know, up until the bowl game, and and, uh, and and you know, whatever responsibilities I can can fulfill, we're not gonna shortchange our guys. Um, I'm going to be able to delegate those responsibilities because we have a very capable staff. What's your schedule for the team for this week, man? Uh, this is a week, you know, we're going to use this as a, a, a week to really get uh, locked in, get prepared for finals, uh, get some guys that are banged up, you know, healed up into treatment, and uh, uh, you know, take this as a, as a week to get our legs back and um, and, and really dive into uh, game planning, get ready for uh, Georgia Southern in the bowl game. You also a little bit ago mentioned something about there being a lot of ch this team accepting challenges. Is there one challenge in particular that you see coming into this game? You know, well, this is this is an opportunity for you know for our team to win an 11th game, uh, finish the season, uh, you know, being ranked. Um, you know, there's still a lot of goals out there, and uh, ha having those goals and fulfilling those goals. And this is this is a this is a team that set out to win the MAC East. Um, you know, they set out to win. Um, you know, win the MAC. They set out to, uh, you know, to win a bowl game. Uh, and, you know, and they set out. Honestly, now there's another kind of. Uh, uh, you know, there's that thing we're chasing. Is you know, we win a bowl game, we have, a, you know, opportunity to finish the season ranked in the top 25, which makes this a, you know, a significant year in uh, BGSU football history. 
Anything else for Coach Ward? Okay.